you can only imagine today what in HFS uh, and, and his engineers of the day, what their thinking may have been when you were going from a three-wheeled vehicle to a four-wheeled vehicle. It must have been incredibly exciting, but I guess in their wildest dreams, they probably couldn't have foreseen that 84 years later, we'd be witnessing the last of those chassis to roll off the line and, and the tens of thousands of vehicles that have been made in that prevailing period. It's incredibly important that when you look at today's Morgans, we maintain the authentic experience. So following the introduction of the steel chassis, the following decades witnessed uh, a lot of change right the way through to the 60s, where this car became extremely popular and was being exported all around the world. So this new Morgan model brought style, performance, and really featured in what was the golden age of British motoring. From a driving perspective, how unique it is. It's, it's extremely unique when you drive a car. The performance, the experience it gives you is different to anything else that, that you will get in and drive. So I think it has been fantastically important for Morgan, uh, and, it's, and it's been like that for the last 84 years. The following decades witnessed numerous changing, both from a styling and uh, engineering perspective, both on and off track performance, uh, culminating in a class win in 1962 at Le Mans. You can only begin to imagine the euphoria and the feeling of winning Le Mans. It would have still been an example of the spirit of Morgan, the David versus Goliath. So top 258 is still running and winning races today uh, and just a fantastic example of the performance and longevity uh, of each car we build. And if you move forward to today, as the last year ladder frame chassis goes through the production line, it's an incredibly important moment for Morgan and we're very proud. This vehicle is destined for a prominent Morgan collector and quite fittingly owns Top 258, which was the Le Mans class winning car. When you consider the very last of the steel ladder frame chassis being a plus four, it's really important for us to celebrate and recognize that we still maintain the craft skills that have made Morgan different over the last 84 years. The personal touch is what makes every car unique. So if you consider the way we use aluminium or steel, wood and leather, to have a beautifully crafted ash frame that acts almost as the coat hanger that you drape the aluminium bodywork through and is all hand crafted onto that body frame. And you ensure that you absolutely tailor it to the highest degree to each individual vehicle. We're now at the end of an era with the steel ladder frame chassis and we're moving forward to uh, a new aluminium platform. Uh, there are a number of reasons for this sea change for Morgan. It's very much around requirements for future vehicle technologies. It's uh, an incredibly important moment for Morgan to be celebrated. Even as we move the technology forward, we retain the spirit of the first prototype and the essence of what makes a Morgan a true British sports car.